Now, you've explained to me that when the young people, as you said, learn how to carve, they start very small and they, they do seal carve, uh, they carve cool. seals, right? But it's interesting, the women, which I'm very interested in, they don't carve, do they, or sculpt? Um, some of them do. Oh, they do. Some yeah. of them do, but uh, the girls don't. Girls don't carve. They carve Girls when they get older, do. while young boys do carve. Now they print and they um, they print and they weave. They print and they weave and they knit and they make um, dolls. Well, make let's dolls. let's look at some of these okay. pieces that some uh, some women have done. Let's right. let's look at them. What about the piece you just uh, touched? This is by a very famous carver, uh, a woman from the Upper Arctic, which is called the High Arctic, uh, which is way up and I haven't been up there. It is cold. <laughs> Her name is Regali, and she carves in this kind of stone, which they refer to as Arctic marble, but it is a soapstone still, I believe. And uh, she does very powerful work, both of bears and of men and of women. So this is an example of a woman carving. Uh, women carve uh, major pieces the way Nuna Parr does, but not to the same uh, extent that men do. All men carve, basically. Uh -huh. Not all women carve. Most women that carve will be multimedia. They'll do prints and carving. Uh, carving's difficult. It's, it's yeah. hard physical work. And you have to be strong. You have to be strong. You have to be strong to quarry unless your family quarries for you. Mm. Um, and it requires a lot of physical ability. Printmaking is a totally different ballgame and we'll get to that. We will, we will. What about this little basket? Oh, you were looking at a doll. Let's look at that. They make dolls. This is a doll um, done by a carver and uh, a seamstress in Cape Dorset and she's using fur and trade cloth and she's imitating exactly what a traditional woman would wear and the old timers do dress exactly like that. They do. On, this would not be a daily uh, sort of thing. This would be a ceremonial piece that they would wear. And the head on this, which sometimes is, is merely stuffed fabric, is an actual carved uh, piece of uh, soapstone. Now whether she did it or her husband did it, oh. I don't know. It is possible she did it. And on many circumstances, many instances, the head will be ivory. Um, that's difficult to bring into our country yes. because some of our rules. Uh, the babies uh -huh. will be carried this way. Uh, and we have video at the campsite where a young woman named Mava carried her baby in this uh, shoulder-held uh, backpack sort of thing. Uh, they use trade beads, which in the old days the uh, British sailors would bring to trade for fur. Uh, they would trade rifles and guns for fur. But for the women, this is not seal moccasins, but they would be seal uh, boots, uh, mukluks. Um, and it's just a gorgeous piece. These, these are not made that often anymore. I have not seen too many of these. Why do you think? Um, I think they're moving in different directions to some degree. Uh, styles maybe have changed because they mm -hmm. do make dolls, but not this intricate uh, the way these are and I have not seen them in a while.